Yeah, good morning. Yeah, we are still here in Springbok. Slept here last night at the Springbok Inn. And uh, yeah, today we're on our way to Namibia. Uh, Namibia is only uh, about 100 kilometers uh, from here to the border at the fuels drift uh, border where we're going to be crossing into Namibia. Uh, tonight we're going to be staying at the Kenyan Roadhouse, which is a very unique uh, accommodation in Namibia. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's going to be good. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Driving up from Springbok, you can realize how the vegetation keeps getting sparser and sparser until you get to this very green strip, which is the Orange River. The Orange River is the longest river in South Africa and it serves as an important natural boundary between Namibia and South Africa. It has a total length of approximately 2,200 kilometers. The river originates in the Lesotho Highlands where it is known as the Senku River. From there it flows westward through South Africa passing through the provinces of Free State and Northern Cape before reaching the border with Namibia. Along its course, the Orange River forms several notable features, including the Ohrabis Falls National Park, known for its stunning waterfalls and gorges. Here we cross the border at the Fuels Drift, which is a border crossing point located on the Orange River. The Orange River Vineyards is known for its unique viticulture conditions, taking advantage of the river's water supply for irrigation purposes. The region benefits from a warm and dry climate with abundant sunshine, which is ideal for grape cultivation. This area here is called the Ausenkeer, which has gained recognition for its vineyards and wine production. The community in Ausenkeer is largely centered around the wine industry. The vineyards of Ausenkeer primarily focus on cultivating table grapes, which are often exported to international markets, where they are in high demand due to their excellent quality and taste. These reed villages are for seasonal workers which play a vital role in the Orange River vineyards during peak periods of grape cultivation and harvest. During the grape growing season and harvest, vineyards often require a significant workforce to perform various tasks such as pruning, tying vines, thinning grape bunches and ultimately harvesting the grapes. Our initial route was to go to the I Ice Hot Springs and also to the Fish River Canyon, but we had some delays at the border which forced us to change our plans and go straight to our accommodation for the day. The I Ice Hot Springs are situated at the southern end of the Fish River Canyon, which is one of the largest canyons in the world. The hot springs are known for their warm, mineral-rich waters which emerge from deep underground. The Eye Ice Resort has also been developed around the hot springs. The southern Namibia desert region is known for its captivating landscapes, which is home to unique and resilient plant and animal species, well adapted to their harsh conditions, including the fascinating desert-adapted oryx and springbok. Visitors are drawn to the desert for its serenity, incredible starry skies and the opportunity to explore its otherworldly landscapes.
Namibia is a very sparsely populated country, as you can see, with only about two and a half million inhabitants. It has been inhabited by several different tribes over centuries, and Namibia is generally recognized to currently still have around 13 major ethnic groups. The rest of our group managed to go to the Fish River Canyon the next morning at sunrise so that they can see the sun shining into the canyon. The Fish River Canyon is one of the largest canyons in the world, offering awe-inspiring landscapes and stunning geological formations. The canyon is about 160 kilometers long, which have been shaped over millions of years by the flowing waters of the Fish River. It attracts visitors from around the globe who come to marvel at its beauty hike its challenging trails and witness the captivating sunrise and sunset views. So we finally got to the Kenyan Roadhouse in Namibia. Our first day in Namibia, luckily. Yeah, we all made it here, we're all in Namibia. Uh, it was quite a long ride today, uh, almost 350 kilometers. But uh, yeah, everybody's safely here. Tonight we're going to be sleeping here at this very nice, uh, unique place, the Kenyan Roadhouse. It's just uh, not far away from the Fish River Canyon. So, yeah, and hope you enjoyed this video. Just uh, give me a like. I'll see you next time.